welcome back children how are you all hope you are all nice good yeah are you all ready for today's class ready okay do you remember which class did i deal in the last class ah about noble bishop okay children today let us know the second scene of the lesson the noble bishop this play is written by victor hugo ah children do you remember i gave you a home assignment did you all complete it yes very good and did you all submit it to your teacher very good very good now let us see whether your answers and my answers are the same if there are some differences you can make them correct okay children first question which i gave you describe the sufferings of jean valjean yeah remember when he was in galleys how did he feel what was the treatment he was given ah let us see jean valjean was convicted for 19 years in the galleys for stealing some bread he was tortured and treated like an animal his name and soul were taken away and was given a devil in its place ah i gave you an extract ah did you find this line in your textbook yes yes ah my son you have suffered much but there is hope for all what is the first question which i gave you who is the speaker ha uh, who is the speaker yeah it is the bishop who is referred to as the son here ah uh, it is jean valjean very good very good you are following me very nice now the next question find the homophones for the given words i had given you wait hair alter tail and pray did you find them have you listed them yes let us see wait w e i g h t wait h a r e hair a l t e alter t a i l tail p r e y pray now let us see the meaning of these homophones do you remember children what do we mean by homophones yeah homophones means words with same sound but different spelling and different meaning now the first one wait w a i t wait w a i g h t wait what is this wait and that wait let us see yeah it is wait let us wait till the rain stops next w a i g h t wait ah the thing which we weigh in kgs grams yeah correct you can see the boy here he is very plumpy so he is always worried about his weight now the next home of all hair hair h a i r hair h a i r hair her hair has a lovely gloss h a i r hair yeah it is a animal the hunter's target was a hair alter alter what is this first alter let us see ah you can see here ah, it is a place in the church the bride approached the alter what is this alter it means to make changes i have to alter my plans okay now the next question tail tail t a l i t a i l T A I L tail. Ah, what is this first tail? Ah, yes, yes. My grandma told me a fairy tale. That means a story. Tail. Ah, it is one of the organs of the animal. Ah, you can see the cat has a fluffy tail. Pray, pray. Do you all pray to God every day? Yes, I do pray. family prayer i pray to god every day p r e y pray you can see the cat cat is having a mouse in its mouth yeah the mouse is the prayer of the cat we should recall what we had dealt in the last class in the first scene of noble bishop we came to know about jean valjean that he is a convict he visits the bishop's house he is very much satisfied with the bishop's behavior Jean Valjean was convicted for 19 years in the galleys for stealing some bread. He was tortured and treated like an animal in the galleys. His name and soul were taken away 
and was given a devil in its place. He steals all the silverware from the bishop's house and escapes during the night. Till this the scene had happened and I had asked you to go through the textbook and see what is there in the second scene and get an idea and we shall discuss in this class. Do you remember? Yes, yes. Now we shall see the second scene of the lesson The Noble Bishop written by Victor Hugo. Good heavens, the silver is stolen. The man who came last night has stolen it. The man has gone. I have for a long time wrongfully withheld this silver. It belonged to the poor. Who was this man? A poor man evidently. It belonged to him. Come in. Bishop, we have caught. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you, my friend. Friend? Jean Valjean, but I gave you the candlesticks also, which are silver like the rest. Why didn't you take them along with the plates? Then what this man said must be true. He said, He must have told you that the silverware was given to him by me and that he had spent the night here and you brought him here. It is all a mistake. If that is so, we can let him go. My friend, before you go away, you can take these candlesticks. They are yours. Take them. Now, you may go in peace. By the way, when you come again, you need not come through the garden. You can always come in and go out by the front door. The doors of my house are never locked, day or night. Jean Valjean, my brother, promised me that you would use this silver to become an honest man. Will you fulfill this promise? Yes, I will. I feel I am a man again and not a wild beast. Years rolled by and Jean Valjean led the life of an honest man, remembering the bishop's words. He had sold all the silverware except the candlesticks. He kept them with him all his life in memory of the good bishop. He strove for the cause of the oppressed, downtrodden and destitute. Ah, children, did you all enjoy? Yes. Now let us see the highlights of the scene. First, Baptistine finds that all the silverware has been stolen and doubts that the thief is Jean Valjean only. Sergeant brings Jean Valjean with the silverware he had stolen. Bishop says that he had given him all the silverware and says that he is his friend. Sergeant leaves Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean is surprised by Bishop's behavior because he calls him as friend, no? Bishop gives him silver candlesticks and asks him to become an honest man. Jean Valjean promises to become an honest man and lead his life for the upliftment of oppressed and downtrodden. Now, let us know the glossary. As I had told you earlier, glossary is nothing but meaning of new words. 
you might have come across many new words in this scene. Now, let us have see the meaning of few words, ok. Ah, first one, reflect, think deeply. Ah, let us see the usage of this word. I often reflect over my school days. The next one, shudder, shiver with cold, fear. You can see the lady is shuddering with cold, the girl is shuddering with fear. Now, let us see the usage. A cold shudder ran through her conscience. A person's awareness of right and wrong. The usage of this word. I have a clear conscience. Contemplate. Consider something thoughtfully. You can see here a man is sitting and he is contemplating. The usage of this word. Jack went on vacation to contemplate his future. Sergeant. Sergeant means a police officer. You saw him in the scene. Do you remember? Yes. His elder brother is a sergeant. Strive. Try very hard. You can see here five of them are there and in the front there is a man with the red. That means he has strive hard to win the race. Let us see the usage. We have to strive to achieve success in life. Oppressed. Be treated in an unfamiliar way. The usage, she was oppressed by her many oos. Next, downtrodden. Be ruled or controlled tyrannically. He was poor and downtrodden. Destitute. That means a person without money, food and shelter. Let us see the usage. The floods left thousands of people destitute. Now, let us comprehend what we have learned till now in this class. Why was Jean Valjean surprised at the bishop's behavior the next morning? What was the reason? Do you remember children? When sergeant brings Jean Valjean? Ah, yes, yes. That is because bishop addressed Jean Valjean as his friend and said that he was happy to see him. Now, the next question. Why was Jean Valjean finally set free? That means, why did sergeant leave Jean Valjean? Ah, Bishop told that he had given the silverware to Jean Valjean. So, he was set free. What did Jean Valjean promise the bishop? Ah, yes. He promised the bishop that he would become an honest man in his life. Was there any change in Jean Valjean's attitude when he left the bishop? What was the change? Children, was there any change? If you compare the first scene and the second scene, do you find any change? Ah, yes, no? Yes, yes. What's that change? Let us see the change. Yes, there was a lot of change in Jean Valjean's attitude. He led the life of an honest man and worked for the oppressed and the downtrodden people. Now, let us see some of the extracts from this scene. Good heavens, the silver is stolen. Ah, the questions related to this extract. Who is the speaker? Who had stolen the silver? Children, do you remember this line? If you open your textbook in scene 2, First itself you will get this line. See in your book. Ah, did you find? Yes. Who is the speaker then? Ah, correct. It is Baptistine. That is Bishop's sister. Who had stolen the silver then? Whom did she guess? That he? Yes, correct, correct, correct. You are correct. That is Jean Valjean. Who had stolen the silver? Now the next question. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you, my friend. So, the questions for this. Who is the speaker? Who is referred to as friend? Ah, can you find this line? Did you get it? Got it. Who is the speaker then? Ah, it is the bishop. Then whom does he call as friend? Ah, correct. It is Jean Valjean. Very good. If that is so, we can let him go. 
Ah, who says this? Search the line in your book. Did you find? Yes. Then who is the speaker? Ah, yes, it is the sergeant. Who is the speaker? Who is referred to him then? Ah, it is Jean Valjean. Correct, children. Now we shall know about the usage of silent letter H in English language. Let us know about silent letters. The English language has a lot of silent letters. Silent letters cause difficulties for both native speakers and English learners because they make the spelling of words different from their pronunciation. Some of the reasons for silent letters are some words are borrowed from Greek, German, Japanese and French language. For example, tsunami, which is borrowed from Japanese language. Psychology, which is borrowed from Greek language. And for the purpose of standardization of English language, the spelling of those words was retained and pronunciation was changed. Now, let us focus on our topic, the reasons for silent letter H in English language. In the beginning of some words, letter H is silent because those words are borrowed from French language. For example, honest, our, honorable, etc. Here, the vowel sound has become dominant and ha sound has been deleted. Some of the exceptional cases are humble, huge, etc. Though these words are of French origin, over time, they lost their ha sound and began to start with H sound. H is not pronounced when it comes after W. For example, Y, Whip, Wheel, etc. H is not pronounced when it comes after C, G, R, R. For example, Choir, Ghost, Rhyme, etc. Ah, children, did you all see? Ah, now let us see the activity related to it. Write five words in which the letter H is silent. Okay, time is given. Ah, try to make a list of five words. Okay. Ah, just now you saw why letter H is silent in some of the words. Not in all the words, some of the words. Okay. Ah, list it out. We will see whether your answer and my answer matches. Ah, 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 ah. Time is going on. Yes. Now the answer is first one honest, which, weather, exhibition, and echo. Okay, children. You might have listed out other words also. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay. I have listed these words. You can refer the dictionary and correct it yourself. Okay. Now let us do the next activity. Prepare a list of five words under each head with the letter R in the beginning, in the middle and at the end. Three columns are there. What you are supposed to do is list five five words for each column. Okay. Huh. Are you all ready? Ready? Okay. Let us see the first one. Read, read, road, ride and range. These are the five words which I have listed. Okay, You might have listed others also. Agreed. Now the next R in the middle. R, worth, words, birds and art. R at the end. Hair, fear, water, deer and cheer. Okay, children. Good. Models. Ah, in the other units, you might have come across this. Now, let us see a conversation between a doctor and a patient. What you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to list the models which are used in the conversation between the doctor and the patient. May I come in, sir? Yes, you may. I have been suffering from fever for the past two days. Did you take any medicine? No, I did not. I have got a cold too. Your body temperature is 102 degree Fahrenheit. You must take medicines for at least 3 days. 
can I attend office? You shouldn't. You must take rest. What about the diet? You should be on liquid diet. Should I see you again? You need not. But if the fever persists for more than three days, come and see me. Sure. Here is the prescription. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Ah, you saw the conversation. Okay. Have you all listed out? Ready with your answers? Ready? Ah, let us see the answer. Ah, may, must, shouldn't, needn't and should. These are the models which are used in the conversation between the doctor and the patient. Now let us move on to the next activity. Read the following sentences taken from this lesson. Say what function each model serves in the sentence. Choose from the options given. Some sentences will be displayed and there will be three options. You are supposed to choose which is the correct language function that is matching the word. Language function is nothing but usage of the language. Language is used for what purpose? Okay children? Now let us see the first one. You may be tired. Ah, do you remember this line in the play? Yes. In which scene? First or second? Ah, search. You will get. Ah, got it? Okay. Now let us see the. Who says this then? Ah, it is said by the bishop. Correct. Now let us see the options. Granting permission, expressing possibility and offering. Okay. Which is the correct answer? Any guesses? Any idea? Ah, got it? Okay. That is... It is expressing a possibility. Now the second one. We can let him go. Ah, who said this? Did you find it? Yes, it is said by the sergeant. Correct children, correct. Let us see the options. Granting permission, expressing possibility and offering. So which is the correct answer? Ah, granting permission, correct. You can take these candlesticks. Who is the speaker? Ah, Bishop. Correct, correct. You are very much following me. Offering, expressing possibility, granting permission. Which is the correct answer? Ah, correct. It is offering. Very good. Now, let us see the fourth question. You may go in peace. So, it is granting permission, expressing possibility and offering. Which is the correct answer? Yes, it is expressing possibility. Who says this line? It is the bishop. Correct. Now let us know about types of sentences. Types of sentences. Based on sentence structure, sentences are classified as simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. Before knowing about these sentences, it is important to know about clause. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words with a subject and a predicate. A subject is one who does the work. Predicate includes the verb and the action of the doer or the subject. Here you can see the cat caught a mouse. Here the cat is a subject and caught a mouse is a predicate. There are two types of clause. One, main clause or independent clause. And the second one, subordinate clause or dependent clause. A main clause is a complete sentence by itself and a subordinate clause depends on the independent clause for meaning. Now, let us see what is a simple sentence. A simple sentence has one main clause and has a complete thought. A main clause includes one subject and one verb. Some of the examples for simple sentence are, I am a convict. Grace opened the door. He plays cricket every day. Compound sentence. In this, it has two or more main clauses and these clauses are joined using coordinating conjunctions. Now let us know what are these coordinating conjunctions. It is very easy to remember these coordinating conjunctions by remembering the names fanboys. F stands for for, A stands for and, 
N stands for na, B for but, O for or, Y for it and S for so. Some of the examples for compound sentence are I am a beast now and they made me what I am. He opened his box and took out his new shirt. Complex sentence. It has one main clause and two or more subordinate clauses. Some of the examples for complex sentence are When Sachin scored a century, the spectators applauded him. As Mohan was sick, he stayed at home. Ah, you came to know about types of sentences? Now let us do an activity related to it. Say whether the following sentences are simple, compound or complex sentences. The rain stopped, so we decided to continue our journey. What type of a sentence is this? Hi, yes, it is a compound sentence. Why is it a compound sentence? Because it has two independent clauses and they are joined using an coordinating conjunction. When I reached home, I was surprised to see Gopi waiting for me. Ah, what kind of a sentence is this? It is a complex sentence. Why is it a complex sentence? Because it has two different clauses, one independent clause and another one is subordinating clause. The next one, Ravi raised his voice and shouted at his friend. Ah, what type of sentence is this? Ah, it is a compound sentence. Ah, why is it a compound sentence? Any idea, any reason? Yes, because it has two different clauses and they are joined using the word and which is a coordinating conjunction. Remember the word fanboys? Yes. Now, the teacher advised Uma to study well. So, what type of a sentence is this? It is a simple sentence because it is having a complete thought and it is an independent clause and it has a subject the teacher advised Uma to study well which is a predicate. So, it is a simple sentence. As Sumati is blind, the dog is leading her. Now, what type of a sentence is this? Yeah, it is a complex sentence because it has it is having two different clauses. Okay, let us recapitulate what we have learnt till now in this class. We came to know how Jean Valjean was caught by the sergeant, Bishop's behavior when sergeant brings Jean Valjean, Jean Valjean promising to become an honest man in his life and lead his life for the welfare of the oppressed and downtrodden people. Finally, how silver candlesticks fill light in Jean Valjean's life and their importance. Let us know what did we learn today in grammar section children. We learned the reasons for the usage of silent H, models and we learned about types of sentences. Home assignment children. Ah, first question. Explain how Bishop reacted when Jean Valjean was brought before him by the police. Second question, I feel I am a man again. This is an extract. Who is the I here? Who made him feel so? The third question, list five words in which letter H is silent in the beginning. Remember children, in the class you had listed out words where with silent letter H. but it may be either in the beginning, middle. Now, this time you have to list the words which are having silent H in the beginning itself. Okay, children. Here is our 9 standard textbook and here is the QR code. If you scan this, you will get Diksha portal. In Diksha portal, you will get much more activities related to this. Do the activities and enjoy. Thank you, children.